Hey, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, technically future Adrian here coming to you because I realized I never shot an intro for this vlog. But to kind of set the scene, uh, early Saturday morning right now, up much earlier than I typically would be on the weekend, but that's because I got a lot of stuff I want to get done uh, today, this weekend in general. And as of yesterday, Friday, uh, it was a long work week. Um, last minute, we had to stop by the local Best Buy to pick up some stuff for a client. And much like walking into a Target and not being able to walk out with one thing, I, in a electronic store or tech store, am very much the same and walked away with some tech that uh, was definitely impulsive, uh, probably irresponsible and irrational at some level, but uh, nonetheless, I picked up some Sonos speakers that I've been meaning to check out, the new Sonos Aero 300. Um, I'm going to have a review of those fully on the Digital Dojo channel. Um, and then while I was there, also caught my eye, uh, I've been meaning and looking into getting a new all-in-one monitor that kind of checks all the boxes for my home studio slash home office here to replace my ultra wide. And I really wanted something that just, again, uh, is a really great gaming monitor, really great productivity monitor and all around just display. And I've been weighing out the decision if I just wanted to use like a TV, how I have my LG C1 TV above as an old overhead monitor, but as a main monitor. Uh, but ultimately middle ground, uh, expensive middle ground <laughs> was the LG Ultra Gear 45 inch OLED gaming monitor this thing is crazy uh i'm excited to really set some of this stuff up this weekend get testing with it get messing around it's funny because the stuff that i actually had in the back of my head that i actually needed like from best buy the items that i had on my list for quite a while didn't pick up any of those because <laughs> i got this other stuff and completely forgot about the stuff i needed but nonetheless here we are i want to take you alongside uh this kind of tech filled weekend unboxing setting some stuff up and, and getting it all going so without further ado Enjoy the vlog. So I was filming my whole unboxing and first impressions of the speaker and midway through, not even midway through, just through my clip, the computer decided to crash and is now rebooting. So that's, that's always fun. Hopefully some of that is recoverable. Okay, so I've done all my initial tests with the one now it's time to set up, well, two of them. So, super simple packaging. Very Apple-like presentation here. Had to go with the all-white for both of these here. And so the box this one, you can see it kind of side by side here with the other era 300 so here we have one it's on the way and well and here we have two so two just cable all the way and for reference uh pretty decent size uh but at the same time not as like big as like a play five still decently Weighted flashlight. Yeah, the Aero 300. So here's the thing. Still testing out the speakers. Still recording the main first impressions video, but this is the second time the PC has crashed, which I do think it's because I'm doing this kind of multi-camera, multi-angle thing, because that's the one thing I've kind of common denominator here when I'm trying to record this video. But it's a bigger picture issue in that this PC there's definitely something wrong here. I don't, I don't know necessarily if it's like the cooler on the CPU. I don't know necessarily if it's the Elgato capture card that's causing an issue with these crashes, but I've had random errors like this. And here's the thing, I, I work in IT. Like this is, it's a literally my business, my job. <laughs> I run an IT outsource firm. And as the nature goes, when I get home, I don't want to deal with my own technical issues. So, I've just been putting off dealing and figuring out and isolating what the issue is with my PC. But when it causes problems like this, it reminds me that I should probably dive into it. But here's the other thing. I still have that LG monitor in all of its glory that I need to unbox and set up and test out tonight. But I had some friends call me because uh, they are having dinner, preparing dinner at their home and invited me over. And as much as I want to set up this monitor and, and experience it in all of its glory, I think I should probably go and, and, and join them for dinner and join the Lakers game because that sounds equally, if not as more, <laughs> exciting. 
so I definitely feel like it's something Elgato related going back to my PC issues because now my stream deck just wigged out and has a whole different thing going on right now. It has like a profile that was never there before. And my stream deck pedal also just entirely reset itself. So that's fine. Got to bring these essentials if I'm going to go out for dinner, aka the Nintendo Switch, which is actually in this bag from the last time. I was over there. Okay, so this isn't like the perfect setup, but here I have them both set up in stereo paired. I have left, right, some separation between them, obviously not a lot, uh, and just sitting here to kind of get that music listening experience before I pack up and head out, and then I'll kind of carry on the rest of this video later on. Alrighty, initial impressions for the most part done. I still have some other stuff I gotta shoot, but for now, I gotta pack up here, call my Uber, and uh, go meet up with some friends for dinner. The rest of this will have to wait. And unfortunately, the LG monitor replacement is gonna have to wait as well. <laughs> What's up? Oh, damn. So dinner plans ran kind of late. So unfortunately, this chonker of a monitor uh, is gonna have to wait for tomorrow to be set up. All right, Saturday morning, I'm still a little disheveled. Uh, up early, had my breakfast, have my coffee, and can finally get started on unboxing this monstrosity right there. So we got all the accessories unboxed here. And then of course, we have the monitor in itself with that 800R aggressive curve uh, and the base plate and adjustable stand. It's actually pretty basic in terms of components overall. So time to get this assembled. Don't mind the extra vlog angle we got going on here. Step around. It's like one thing to like obviously like be assembling it and yeah, I saw this display model with like see it in front of you is crazy here. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of a better angle and preview of what we got going on here. Um, let's go ahead and get the satisfying kind of peel off. So you can kind of see what we got going on here. It's actually sitting to the right of an LG Ultrafine um, 5K display um, back there. So this thing is absolutely massive at the 45 inches. And you can kind of see the 800R curve. And here you have it in all of its glory. Unboxed and set up. This thing is a monster of a monitor. It takes up a big portion. This is a very long desk as is. Like, this is a kitchen countertop uh, and on the workstation area. You can just see how much it really envelops on the whole desk. And then every tech YouTuber's favorite part, the satisfying protective plastic peel. Oops.
All right, so game time decision. I decided just to go ahead and take care of the mounting now on the Visa arm rather than put the base stand on just so that I can get it acclimated and not have to worry about it later on. <laughs> so I finally got this mounted <laughs> and it is ridiculous. It took me a while to get the adjustment of the arm to get it like perfectly balanced. Um, Cause this is obviously a bigger monitor than my ultra wide. I don't know if it's necessarily quite heavier. It doesn't feel heavier, but I'm sure it's probably equal or on par. So I had to readjust the arm balance. And I think I've gotten it ideally to how I like it. I'm gonna have to readjust my speakers and, and stuff like that because this mod, I can like hear myself echo when I'm talking, which is kind of weird because of the concave, like I'm talking and it's obviously shooting back at me. So <laughs> you feel more enveloped by something like this and obviously I'm talking directly at it. All right, I'm not gonna lie. The office slash studio is in a state <laughs> of disarray right now, as you can see all the boxes and everything but the monitor is all set up look at that this thing is absolutely massive uh but it is nice to have both the lg oled on the bottom and the lg oled tv on top uh beautiful panels and displays and i'll stick by my uh, sentiment that LG right now is killing the game in the OLED TV space. Like, if you're looking for a solid all-around TV right now, you cannot go wrong with the LG C-Series or G-Series. Um, and this Ultra Gear, obviously, is, is definitely overkill for most PC monitors and gaming monitors, though I would argue that they're lower end, like, the Ultra Gears that are going to be in the 27-inch form factors and variants and are going to be much more um, cost-effective and affordable is definitely something for that, you know, enthusiast market and those who want like kind of the best, the best, then you have something like <laughs> this 45 inch uh, for the kind of, uh, you know, top of the line setups. So with the addition of the LG monitor this weekend, it adds on yet another remote to the collection on my desk. I either need to get a caddy or see if I can bust out the old LG Harmony remote, uh, despite them discontinuing that because I gotta see if I can consolidate all of this. We have the LG 45 inch monitor remote, the Samsung OLED remote for the entertainment center, the LG C1 TV that sits overhead the desk, and then the Apple TV 4K. And that new monitor to use. RE4 Remake. Alrighty, it is about lunchtime, Sunday afternoon. Uh, got the gym out of the way, got my coffee. Uh, I have just got to start on some morning errands, but yeah, today's just a catch up day. I gotta catch up on some work for the week, I gotta catch up on some video games, uh, and uh, catch up on some house chores. So, a lot ahead. 
One thing I've noticed about this LG Ultra Gear, and I don't know if it's just kind of due to it being an OLED panel where like it doesn't wake from sleep, uh, like from the keyboard or mouse when I wake the desktop, I have to use the remote. Um, I want to see if there's like a workaround for that or if that's just how it's meant to be. So this is cool to see the video that I shot literally just Friday afternoon and edited and uploaded yesterday on the Sonos Air 300, just the unboxing and first impressions video popped off last night and got like an extra 500 views, which is cool because I, I've stopped kind of doing these unboxing first impressions and I've just tended to kind of do the reviews whenever I have the time on this Digital Dojo's channel, but I figured why not just kind of throw it out there like old times just to get the initial impressions and see how it does. And so far it seems to be doing well. So shout outs. Let's go Lakers. Ideally, best case scenario, we would clinch a six seed, but realistically, we're probably going to get the play in here. All right, play in is secured. All right, with this lens at this crop, this angle should work for now, but we'll see if we need to adjust it or get anything in the future. So it's nearly 10 p.m. on Sunday night here. I've been messing with the monitor orientation. I've been kind of adjusting the arms and stand. I ended up taking the portrait monitor off of the stand because there was no way I was going to get the speaker, like the gap between the monitors wide enough for the speakers to fit in that kind of left-right orientation. Uh, otherwise, I was going to have to either turn them sideways or I know some people get like speaker stands. But in this case, I just wanted them flanking the monitors properly. Um, so I put this monitor back on its native stand just to kind of see if I like it in this portrait orientation right now um, or if I'm going to end up just taking that monitor out and who knows potentially moving it around or just going with the two monitor setup right now i'm all just kind of getting a feel for it i've been rocking the two monitors over the weekend and it's been mostly fine i again generally just use that portrait monitor for slack email when i'm working from home um i know it's traditionally used for like streamers or to have their live chat up and i can see why that's very convenient for any content that's kind of just you know vertical but for now we'll rock the two monitors and I'm sure in time, this will continue to change. So lastly, we move the Air 300s out here to the living room. They're gonna live here in the in-room temporarily, uh, serving as a, what I call the den speaker. So the two Play 5s are hooked up to that uh, turntable in the middle here, that's a Project Carbon turntable. Uh, and the Air 300s are just gonna serve as these kind of stereo pair speakers until I get a proper stand to replace the Play 5s here uh, as the rears because these Play 5s are sitting on stands that are meant for my Vizio speakers from like five years ago. They're not even proper stands for the Play 5s. I'm surprised uh, it's held up thus far because it's literally just sitting on top of like a metal plate. It's not secured in any way by anything. So I want to get proper stands for these Air 300s. So I'm going to be choosing uh, between the Santa stand or I believe Sonos has an official one. Uh, but I want to get these white stands to match the Air 300s. And once those come in, then I'll be putting those in their proper place. So with that, the home office slash studio is in a much better state now than it was earlier this weekend, as you can see. Uh, we essentially have the desk main part all set up, obviously with the new monitor in place. I was going to take the portrait monitor down to see how it all looked, but realized that the play bar led on the back is hooked into the desk and cable managed so i just don't want to deal with that right now <laughs> i'll deal with that later this week that's the one problem with cable management to undo everything uh it can be a bit of a pain sometimes but yeah that's all set up there are a couple more things i do want to add to this setup overall i want to get more lighting for my camera angle so i have the ring light there i want to add another like key light there um, i obviously have the workstation area that's much cleanlier now that I've been doing like projects and I've been using this for my overhead shots for things like keyboards and other do-it-yourself projects. I'm thinking of adding like a secondary workstation there in the corner. That's why I was like messing around with the monitor there just for those do-it-yourself projects. So I have another kind of a workstation that I can use while I'm on this portion of the desk. Uh, I recently also moved my home lab over. It used to sit right there in that little pocket, but it made more sense to move it here because obviously when I'm actually using this desk, I wanna be able to sit and, 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 you know, actually properly used the desk there. So it made more sense to move that over. 
But yeah, really happy with how it turned out and what we got done this weekend. Um, again, got to test out the new speakers, got to in, uh, get the new monitor into the setup here and, and been utilizing that. Uh, clean up the home office studio a little bit. I now have this ultra wide just sitting on the desk here that I got to figure out a use for. Don't get me wrong, I'm not showing the other side of the office behind me because there's still a lot going on here. Just to give you a small preview, you can see the stack of boxes of products here that I either have to check out and or throw out, uh, depending if I've already like reviewed the product or if I even want to keep the box. Uh, and uh, the closet behind it is a whole thing I have to tackle separately in of itself, so. All right, and that about wraps up my weekend as I wind down my night here and prepare for the week ahead. So that in turn is going to wrap up the vlog and, and quite the tech filled weekend it was. Uh, got to check out a lot of cool new products, got to get some projects done here in, in the setup and all of that. And also just get a vlog out, which for me, it's, it's been a while since I've shot content like this, but it is one of my um, favorite forms of content to shoot. This just this medium and the way I do it personally, I think vlogs allow for more of the off the cuff format they're not these like they can be very highly produced and, and very cinematic and, and, and storytelling content which i appreciate in and of itself but i think also just the nature to kind of hit record and start telling a story and piece it together as you go uh it's something that's always been fun for me i mean i quite literally just shot this on friday after getting home from work because i decided to pick up some products <laughs> over the weekend and, and show some behind the scenes uh, and give some insight there so uh, it, it's a lot of why, again, at the core of why I started this personal channel to share things that I'm passionate about uh, through different mediums and content types and explore. And, and one of those just happens to be vlogging. And hopefully I can make more time in the future to get more content like this out for you all if you enjoy it. So hit that thumbs up button if you did enjoy it. Consider subscribing if you're not subscribed for more content down the road. Uh, otherwise, I, I don't know how you stumbled upon this video. Maybe you were interested in, in the monitor or the speakers and the algorithm led you this way. Uh, and, and hopefully provided some sort of entertainment. All right, with that, hope you all have a good one, and as always, catch you in the next one. Alexa, turn off office.